um, outlined what you would your, what you would do. Um, Sace, do you think the politicians are getting it? No, they're not getting it. Not all of them. And and for example, you know, Lib Dems have been complicit in the whole kind of youth cuts since 2010. You know, we've lost nearly a, a, a 800 million, 880 million from youth services, and that's a major issue. Like you're not funding young people, but you're still expecting to flourish and without the support that they need, you know. David I've been working with for the last three and a half years and, you know, he was having, you know, certain troubles in school but just needed guidance, needed mentoring and early intervention. And, you know, for me it's all lip service. You say you're going to fund another 500 million, but that doesn't even cover the, the cuts that we've lost, you know, over the last, you know, 10 years. So it's really you know, an issue for us, but we need that support. We need to basically find other ways of getting funding and the obstacles to funding is a lottery. You know, we're doing the work on the ground and we're going to schools directly. We're working in Croydon, in many schools in Croydon, and we see the issues that they're facing, but we don't have the support that's, that's needed so from the I, government. I want a final thought from you then, David, in that um, you have had this support and obviously SACE has said how important it was to you. Mm -hmm. how, how important has it been in your view to your life? Um, it's been very important because um, I met SACE three years ago and that, if I didn't meet SACE, the impact it would have had on my life would be totally different, like absolutely different. Um, I had aspirations, but that wasn't really, I wasn't able to do them things because of things that were happening in school and also at home. So me meeting SACE was like a great opportunity to um, choose my goals and aspirations and how I'm going to achieve it. So what are your goals and aspirations? Um, it first started off as me to be an athletic um, athlete, then it changed to a footballer. And then from football, I decided to um, stop football and aspire for sports physiotherapy um, and maybe own my business in the sports management. Good luck. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.